I was born in Houston, Texas. My father is Mexican-American with a little bit of Irish. He was born in Brownsville, Texas. Raised there very poor, as most people were. He went to World War II and came back and on the GI Bill went to college. And my mother is of English descent. Her grandparents arrived in the United States from England in the late 1800s. I studied hard and got into law school at the University of Houston. And uh, one of the regents of the University of Houston was uh, John O'Quinn. Around that time was one of the highest paid lawyers in the United States of America. I told him I was in line to give a commencement address that I might leave law school. It was really pretty darn tough for me. That he thought I'd make a really fine lawyer and that if it was a question of money, he would pay for the rest of my law school and give me a job at his law firm. And that letter really helped me because I was completely touched by it, but I wasn't inspired by it to finish. And so I decided to, that my contribution to the world would be different and uh, I applied to, to the University of Texas School of Architecture. And once I was accepted there, it was really at that time one of the top, and is still one of the top programs in the United States. I enrolled there and, and uh, completed a Master of Architecture and studied historic preservation. The biggest risk to Texans if we reelect the incumbent in this position is that the oil and gas companies will continue to have a stronger voice than ordinary Texans. And at risk is our environment, but also at risk is the viability of future generations. Not only do they need fresh, clean water, and we're using 250 to 500,000 gallons of fresh water for every well we frack, and then we're injecting the water that comes up, which is an environmental hazard, down deep into the earth, allegedly at such a level that it's not going to harm us. But are we really looking to the future two, three, four, five generations from now. And we all can appreciate the strong Texas economy. We all can appreciate all the benefits that oil and gas has brought to this state. But we can all appreciate water too. And if we have to choose one or the other, I'm choosing water. And we all need to elect people to office who will call the truth the truth and will make their decisions based on a solid moral compass that isn't influenced by corporations and big money. I really want to see Texas change. I think it's time that we get new leaders in Texas. I want to be a part of that team and part of that slate of candidates that moves Texas forward.